Hello and welcome to the Crass Man Show. My name is your host, the Crass Man. See that? That's my shirt, but y'all never get to see it. Cause my neck so long. I do wear clothes, look. In my previous episode, I showed y'all how that you can make a mold out of a serial plastic looking doing serial figure and then make that into metal. And I was very pleased with how that turned out. But then I got to thinking, hey, I wonder if people can use just a regular old mold putty like that and do some real simplified mold. It's sneaking up on Christmas time right now. And uh, if y'all like me, y'all might have a handful of gifts that you need to get done last minute. So I thought, why not try to do a little necklace pendant looking thing and make that for somebody for Christmas. I started brainstorming ideas. I thought about doing me a little metal, eight millimeter camera, super eight. Make it a pendant like that. You can hang it up like that right there. I didn't have me a brown uh, color pencil, so I just used red. And I said, what if I did some wood grain? Probably a little bit more complicated than what I was trying to do. So I started looking at some leaves and things. See that right there? The plan is to, to model this out of clay and then make a mold of that. All right. And I thought, what if it's a, a, a sleeper leaf? Like it's kind of a, I don't want to say he tired and more out. He just feeling restful. And sometimes we had this times where we just need to rest a little bit, you know, to take it easy. But uh, anyway, sleeper leaf like that. Let's get it. Epoxy skull. Hold on. Y'all know I like a boxy skull. This is a, a silicone mat. Not much things stick to this. Anytime you mess with the two part like this, an A part and a B part, you use one hand one way, one and the other one. Auto focus. I got me a new lens, by the way. I'm a big fan of uh, manual focus, manual everything, manual exposure, all that. But watch this right here. Look. Look at that. That's not me focusing. That's called autofocus. This is an old 50 millimeter. They call it the nifty 50. Manual aperture. See that right there? That's the iris, aka the aperture. Most of the videos that you have seen on Step Craft there have been shot with this camera right here. The only reason I got this camera or uh, this camera I'm using, I'm trying to point to it, my microphone jack. I went to plug in a microphone one day and that Jack pushed straight back up in there. I ain't got the little tiny hands and all. Thank y'all for the success on the free range chicken. I just want y'all to know that what we make on that goes right back into instead of crafting. This episode is about mustard. Look at that. I didn't have to get my lens messy and dirty and sticky and get paint on it. It just focused like that on the song. We want to get to a good consistent color. I like that right there. I'm just kind of mushing things now. And if you really wanted to get this uniform thickness, you could take you a stack of cards right here, a stack of cards right there, however high that you want this to be thick, and take you a roller and go over like this. I'm just putting a little bit of safety solvent on that blade. It's a little bit hard to do this with the, the camera being right above it like that, but that's just what you gotta do when you're making YouTubes and things. Let's see right here. Come over like that. What's that's looking like about an inch and three quarters? I don't know. Some of y'all got to tell me that's if that's too big for a pendant. Let's go ahead and take this thing on down a little bit more. I don't want to give this to somebody for a uh, Christmas present. They're thinking, this thing choking me, weighing me down, crap. All right. Sorry about that if my chair squeak every now and then. I don't know if I ever told y'all about my little chair I got. This came from a dentist's office right here. Anyway. Just getting the base a little shape of it like that. I don't 
don't know. I feel like I need some music in my videos sometimes. And then several of y'all said, no crap, man, don't do that. So, I don't listen to what y'all tell me. You start to question yourself. Do you kind of push through it. You're gonna wind up with something. I think this one right here needs to be shorter to really make it contrast. You know, this side is gonna be one length and the other side need to be probably shorter. I mean, it don't need to be. That's just, that's just craftsman saying that, you know. We kind of will need little pieces into place right here. Craftman. I ain't never seen a leaf like this. What's the genus and species and phylum of that leaf? The scientific. Well, hang with me just a little bit because I'm about to put a face on it too. It's going to get even more crazy. I don't know about that, but uh, anyway, it's just an example. All right, let's see what we got right here. One thing I probably should have did that I have done this before is to take, when you mix it up your mold putty, to go ahead and take you some little uh, pieces and push down into the details and then push the main mold over top of because I don't know if the uh, eyes and mouth have enough depth to them. Why don't we just get adventurous right now? I'm gonna take this little T9 a little bit right here because my theory is that uh, silicone stick to silicone. Now obviously it's gonna stick better when the whole thing is curing, you know what I'm saying? If you can uh, if it's at the curing stage and you try to stick this to it because after it cured, there's going to be a surface oil, this evidence on it. All right, silicone naturally, especially the uh, silicone putty would do that. It exhibits this oil looking surface. But I'm thinking that we might just be able to pull this off right here. All right. Oh, snap. So I stuck that down up in there like that. And then we're just going to place it right back in the mold like this. Push it down really good. We're going to try it out, you know what I'm saying? And that's the updated looking uh, mold right there. It looks like that eyes and mouth trick might just work out. If it don't melt up off of it, we'll see about that. It says right here, many low melt metals, 150 degrees. Okay, so 
That's what we're looking like. 400 degrees on Metacast. But I know, I know I'll be getting up over 400 degrees to melt that pewter down. One time we got a swing in my grandparents' house and uh, had a little tag on it that said rated for 350 pounds. But I know good and well that swing held all three of my aunts on it. A lot of times I think companies would just say something to give themselves a little bit of uh, protection. Crap, man, don't breathe that stuff. I'm holding my breath right now. I got the hot pot plugged in. We also got a little thermometer right here. We got a little ways to go on that temperature. In my uh, previous video, I got kind of carried away with these and started making uh, quite a little handful of them. So uh, this probably, I got probably five of these, four of these things right here. So I figured I could spare one of them. That's where we at on the metal right there. Close to 450. Now obviously I poured away too much. And see all that, I got a sand, I got a grind, file all that back down, and got to drill through that right there, but you know. We gonna try to bring out some of these little details right here. And I'm just using me some of the little patina for all metal onyx. And there we go. So we took an object and just using a little 30 minute mold like this right here, we was able to make a metal cast of it. Considering how quickly that it was done, kind of a rush job trying to get this bit, trying to get this video up for y'all. Uh, you know, that just should show you the possibilities of what that you can do. And y'all got way more talent out there than what I got. So, hey, make you some metal things with this. I hope y'all like that. Hey. Be careful with metal and stuff like that. Craftman getting ready to take a break. This is probably my last DIY how-to video for the year. Thanks to y'all, I met my Patreon goals. And because of y'all on Patreon support, I've been doing a video every single week. I used to be doing a video like every, you know, three months or something like that. Then I set a second goal talking about, hey, if I can hit this much money, we're gonna do some animated film things. And I said, I'll be dang, they done did it. We done met that goal. So now, I'm getting ready to put out my little animated series that I have been dreaming about doing. Before the year is up, I hope to be releasing a little test video clip to show y'all exactly what the thing gonna look like. I'm gonna talk about the name of it. Uh, some of the character thing, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I love y'all. Keep steady crafting. Craft man, do you really be sound like that? No, this how I sound right here. The Craft Man. Welcome to the Craft Man Show. This is when I first wake up in the morning, voice like this. Hello. <laughs>